Oh, somebody, oh, he needs oh. some milk. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new Fuse Heirloom coming on next Tuesday's collection event. How to get it the cheapest possible way to save yourself some money and what you'll be unlocking along the way. Of course, we're also gonna give out a Fuse Heirloom. That way you have a chance to get a free one. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. Maybe tell me why you like this channel and how long you've been following for. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So let's go ahead and start it off with the good stuff and the bad stuff coming in the Harbinger collection event next Tuesday. The good news is we have a brand new map, which is going to be World's Edge After Dark and a brand new LTM to go alongside it called Shell Trios, where basically you throw this grenade skull that Crow Rindo had talked about, which is a form of Revenant, and it will heat seek your opponents, and you can actually shoot it out of the air to try to survive. We're not really sure how this will work 100% yet, but it will be a fun LTM. At least it's something new and unique coming into the game. However, even with the new LTM and the World's Edge After Dark, there's one thing that people are more excited than anything else, and that is the Razor's Edge for Fuse, which is this brand new heirloom, which you can see here. The animations on it are absolutely fantastic. The design of it is is also very, very cool. It looks like you'll be able to carry it and actually whack people because there is a little ax built into the actual base of the instrument. And it's cool, it's got that little hyena fuse dog thingy that has shown up with this character a couple of times. And overall, it's probably one of the best heirlooms that they've designed into the game so far. You can actually see an image of him holding it right here with his brand new skin. And to be quite honest, it's probably one of the coolest designs and a matching skin to go with it that we've ever seen introduced into Apex Legends. Now, once again, to get this heirloom, you will have to buy all the event skins. All the skins seem to be Egyptian themed, at least that's my interpretation of it. You have Gibby right here who kind of looks as though he's Apocalypse from X-Men. And then you also have Bangalore who's Anubis and a couple other skins that seem to match that overall theme. Although this event is somewhat around the end of the world or the Harbinger. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays into possibly the lore of the story going forward for it. However, this will be different from past collection events like the Imperial Guard one or other thematic events we have seen. You will not be able to craft with the half off material to get these skins. So if you wanted a legendary, it will be 2400 crafting material. If you have it saved up, cool, you can use it, but it's not really that worth it. The best way to still get it is to buy the bundles, such as the Grave Protector bundle for Gibraltar and the Curse Keeper bundle for Ash, both coming with 10 Apex packs combined with two legendary skins for the cost of about 75 bucks. And you get half the collection event for that. And then you can use whatever crafting material to get the rest and you can make it a little bit cheaper. There is some good and bad news with the free prize tracker. One, we get free stuff, which is always nice. You'll be able to get an Epic Mad Maggie skin, a Sentinel skin, and some gun charms and hollow sprays. Sadly, though there is no collection event packs like the Imperial Guard one as well which means that you will not be able to get any free packs during this event so this is definitely one that you're gonna have to shell out money for now in regards to crafting the heirloom which will save you a ton of money on it it is important to know that the Belgium trick where you just switched your account to have it home set up in Belgium so that you could just get crafting materials from the battle pass was actually disabled back in around March of this year meaning that you are gonna have to actually earn your crafting materials regularly by getting them via apex packs you can't just use that trick anymore that being said if you go ahead and buy the bundles as they are listed you can get two legendary skins automatically plus 10 apex packs which is half the collection event for only 75 dollars or 7500 apex coins depending on your region which is a huge discount now from this point with your excess material you're actually going to want to craft the epic ones first as they only cost 800 in a collection event whereas the legendaries cost 2400 which is absolutely massive and you can actually get a lot of the epics actually taken out of the loot pool in your apex packs before you open any of the packs from buying the bundles craft first that way you guarantee legendaries in those bundled skin packs that way you're only left with a couple of packs to open to finish off the entire event sadly over the years respawn has removed more and more ways like the belgium trick to actually make it so that people can afford to get these heirlooms but this is the best method that will actually save you somewhere around the line of 20 to 60 dollars depending on how lucky and well you do this so i do wish you all the best but hopefully you can also win the free heirloom in the video let me know down below what is your favorite heirloom so far in apex legends and where would you rank the fuse heirloom on it also don't forget to check out this second channel by my editor novell who does amazing apex legends content on the side and until next time legends keep slaying the aliens i'll see you out there